Hey, welcome everyone. Welcome to uh, this uh, third, I think, or fourth episode of the fourth season of, yeah, fourth of the fourth of Dark Matter. I am Simon at Wandering DM. Um, I'll be GMing tonight's game. We have a returning guest this week uh, as uh, CB is back to uh, play Gideon the advisor to uh, the Lakshane prince that... Uh, am I going to live that down, am I? Yeah, that is entered. Well, we'll see about that. Um, before we go into the game, uh, let's just recap what happened because we haven't played for a few weeks. We have a player who's going to be uh, with us shortly. Doxy is uh, currently trying to find somewhere to plug their computer. Uh, but who would like to recap what happened last time? I can definitely do it with extreme accuracy. Go right <laughs> ahead. <laughs> well, if I recall correctly, after a night of uh, calm and educated discussion with Gideon, we all collectively, almost collectively, had a very hard time sleeping. I believe we... All, I, I'm not sure if we all saw said vision or where we were just affected by something that gave us a lot of hard time sleeping. Then we went out exploring. And because if I recall correctly, once again, it was something that Doxy saw or was drawn to his parents. Yeah. There we went into a cave where we met a very calm not jellyfish, it was a uh, anglerfish who tried to well, basically kill us and make us a little undead as well. We, I don't recall killing it, but I know we made it go away. No, you killed it. We did? Oh, you, you literally killed it. No, I didn't. He exploded by some other mean. That was not me. I don't oh, remember. Grenade I, think on it. I think it was Doxy. Oh, Doxy's me. grenade. Doxy's grenade. Yeah. It grenade. was ectoplasm on everybody. Ex yeah, and, you know. That was fun. I got the cast turn. You turned undead. It was yes, and that worked. You did a thing turned that lyrics don't do often. Uh, but yes, and um, we ended the game there, actually, right after the giant space undead psychic anglerfish um, was destroyed. And, uh, oh, I, I have received, I am receiving a transmission that we have, uh, a doxy ready, uh, so... Receiving a transmission. <laughs> Bye. Um... Hello, Dude, doxy. the transition is smooth. Hello. Hello. Oh, come on. Transition was almost smooth. Um, I, I <laughs> clicked on the button, like, a second too late. But, yes, so we will uh, pick back up where we left off, which is you are in the uh, tunnel, the old abandoned mining facility on this asteroid. Uh, Kebichet, Eddard, Doxy, and Gideon, covered in the remains of this gigantic, psychic, vampiric anglerfish from space. That's a title by itself. What do y'all do? I would really appreciate a nap and getting the fuck out of here. That was fun. Good uh, job with the uh, with the grenade there, Doxy. Um, yeah. Well, I mean, fuck that fish, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it got wrecked. Let's... Yes, 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 yes. But I need a nap. Or oh, three... Maybe four. Days? I, probably, yes. That actually sounds really good right about now. Okay, let's head back to the ship before any more of those things coming out of the walls get to come and get us. I, I just I just need to know one quick thing. Uh, is this a normal uh, um, a thing that happens with y'all? You know, you get tricked by a fish and then you get fought and tried to get sucked down and no no I, I'd rather stay in the in, in the alleys I don't want to do that again 
I don't what recall ever being tricked by it? another fish. Have we been tricked by anything else in the past? Mm, no. no. No, usually when things try and trick us, we, you know... There was that um, robotic thing that did try and monologue at us, and then Doxy shut it down, and I put it in a ah, fridge yeah. with a void dragon. That ended really well. Great. Yeah, but, yeah. I need to lay down. That was <laughs> as as Doxy's like looking around at the the kit. Well, I mean, maybe we can have this discussion in the ship. Um, was there anything else we needed in the mines? Nope. No. And Doxy, if we need to find your parents, I'll probably do it from the ship at a later date. I'm going to take a nap. Yes. Well. <clears throat> yeah. That that I'm going to have to uh, well, apologize. I mean, uh, yeah. Technically, I've seen them now. We could try calling them the other way, but I need a nap. That or four. That is fair. Yes. Um. I mean. Okay. Yes. Let's go to the ship. We'll talk more about it. Mm-hmm. Yep. And yep. you yep. Let's go. thus make your way to the ship. And as you do so, we'll just rewind the clock back about two days. Oh, great. To right before the arrival of Gideon, as Captain Underhill gets a call in his bedroom. Ring, ring. Oh, that's not what the ringer sounds like. And that's it. That. I'm sure it's not. Uh, it is a uh, uh, communication from Spider. Mm-hmm. Uh, Captain Hilltopple here. Uh, how can I help you? Hello, Captain. So, uh, you, you calling? Uh, what, what can I do for you, Spider? Oh, Evandra. Evandra, now that I remember her name. Yeah. Because it's been some weeks. <laughs> It has been a while, Captain. I did try to reach you before, before the whole verse went to shit. Uh, yeah, we were, um, we were in the void, but, like, in a different way than normal, where we weren't, we were traveling at sublight speed through the, I don't really know, uh, we got pulled in by God, we were kind of, uh, separated from everything for a little bit there. You know, it oddly makes some sense um glad it makes sense for you because i'm still you know i was i lived it and i'm still wrapping my head around it well much has happened in your absence Hmm. hence why i was trying to reach you so uh fill me in what's uh what's happened to you lately uh a friend of yours came knocking to my door Oh, no, which, which uh, friend? You know, are they actually a friend, or are they uh, a friend friend? <coughs> well, perhaps a friend of a friend, a very beaten up Avara by the name of Aminot. Oh, okay, uh, uh, Kevishet's friend. Gotcha. Said they, uh, knew you. Uh, yeah, I've, I've met him. Um, you know, Kevishet really knows him more. He, leader of the Inquisition, um, you know, there's some uh, political things I don't necessarily agree with that uh, he's into, but it seems well-meaning, if if that matters. Oh, it does. I wanted to check in with you before we did anything to our mm-hmm. esteemed guest. <laughs> of course. Um, so he was beaten up, and what kind of, you know, how did he show up? Um... Random happenstance, actually. We were flying, trying to escape a uh, an illithid, let's call it a warship or a raiding ship, perhaps. And uh, uh, fun. Yes, and we encountered the uh, remains of a sepulchre ship. Yeah. There um... was a distress call. Long story short, uh, Ichabod went on board and found that there was only one survivor. Being eminent. Yes. He kept raving about, well, this, I don't know if you know um, much about Avaraz, but he kept raving about a, um, an Avara heretic. 
Uh, what exactly was he saying? Uh, just calling a name, but you know, with the network was... of information at my disposal, raving what about a Katesh. Katesh, Lady Katesh. Um, one second. I uh, just uh, just gonna put you on hold for just one moment here, and I'll be right back. Okay. Uh, sure. Boop. Ring, ring. Kebashet. <laughs> So wait, this is two days ago? Yes. Well, the two of them are getting shit-faced and Gideon's passed out. Yes. So Kebashet is technically meditating and has the phone off. <laughs> uh, bypass uh, meditation protocols through Captain Override. Ring, Everyone ring. can bypass. <laughs> but... All the security stuff. is just for you. <laughs> the, fi the, fi the, important, the important things are important. <sighs> Just making sure Edder doesn't hurt himself. Basically. <laughs> we, so we, you child-proof the ship, is that it? <laughs> yes. Hey, I'm not a child. <laughs> yes. Um, that's, <laughs> well, that's a matter of perspective. For some people. Um, yes, Captain. Uh, so Aminette's alive. That's good. Uh, he arrived on this, well, this um, Evandra, the spider, she found him, and he keeps uh, raving about uh, Katesh. Oh, uh, right. Um, Does he need her? Because she's a little bit unavailable at the moment. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm sure you're busy at the moment. It's more of like, should I explain that Kebashet and Katesh are the same person to Evandra, or should I keep that on the down low? You know. I mean, wanted... you might want to not mention it. We do have a guest on board who I don't think knows that yet. Um, well, you know, I would be only announcing it to, you know, uh, uh, Evandra specifically, but I uh, want to... A, a spy mistress. Yes, uh, no, exactly is why I was asking you, but considering the fact that, like, you have a family... I don't know, y'all's relationship is complicated. Uh, you know, someone there screaming, you know, screaming your name over and over and over again. I didn't know if I should say, hey, yeah, Kitesh is Kebashet, that's that's the name that he's yelling, or if I should just be like, mm. Well, you could maybe say that you know where she is and you could reach her if he really wants to talk to her. I, okay, I'll go with that. Just, again, wanted to see where, you know, how comfortable you were with revealing that information to, of course, yes, a spy mistress, um, given the special circumstances. I think we don't know enough about the rest of the political situation on either the Avar Avara Holy Lands or the rest of the verse to say, to give that information of a wanted political criminal, you know exactly where she is. Um, yeah, no, I get that. It's, um, yeah, it's not sure how much of a political situation is left, but fair enough. All right, well, I'll let you get back to your meditating, and I'm going to get back to talking to Evandra. Have fun with your date, Captain. Bye. All right, so uh, resume the call with Evandra. Um, She's filing her nails, waiting. All right, so um, I spoke with, uh, you know, our local uh, Avira heretic, and... Um, we can get Eminet in touch with Katesh if if need be. Oh, well, he's hardly in a state to talk to anybody at the moment. Um, but if you would like to come visit, I'll send you my coordinates. Uh, yeah, we might... Uh, uh, okay, out of character, what are we currently in the process of doing getting to an asteroid uh no you are currently landed on an asteroid and uh getting um edard's birthday present on board the giant mecha suit okay and we and then after that we're planning on going to um the the place with the thing okay all right um yeah if you could send me those coordinates um i don't know if we're going to be able to make it wherever you are in the next couple of days or not, but I'll uh, try and see what we can do about uh, getting there. Um. <coughs> Good. So with the whole mind flare attacks thing, how, how are you and your organization doing? Well, we're hardly in shape to hold on. Um, 
It is very hard to get reliable information on the movement of the Illithid fleet, as we cannot trust Anything. anyone that comes into contact with the enemy. Mm -hmm. Right now, my web is trying to hold the entire elven homeland in, mm -hmm. in place. It is very exhausting, and mm -hmm. I could definitely use some means of vacation. I feel you there. I've needed a vacation for a minute now. Um, also, have we already sent, we've sent you all the, the schematics for the vaccine and the scanners for detecting mind flares, haven't we? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Even if One you minute. hadn't sent them to me, I can easily intercept things that you broadcast to the entire universe via whatever it is your brilliant little engineer is able to do. Oh yeah, we did share it that way. Sorry, it's, you know, Everyth been everything's just been so uh, well it's just been so chaotic it's hard to keep track of you know what's what happened a day ago much less a week ago or a month ago well i think you deserve some rest captain yeah i could uh i could use that uh well, is there anything else i can help you with well seeing how we're currently jumping from one mall station to the next and i don't really have anywhere to go at the moment, I had a question for you. Shoot. How familiar are you with dream magic, Captain Underhill? Uh, y you know, I'm not incredibly, uh, not, not incredibly familiar with dream magic at all, no. I mean, I've, I've heard, you know, let, actually, let me just roll real quick to see how much I know. Yes. You can roll Arcana. Um, you've heard of the dream spell. Mm -hmm. She's probably talking about that. Yeah. I mean, I mean, you know, it's like I know that there's spells that you can use to cast on people while they're sleeping to affect their dreams. Uh, beyond that, you know, not much. Yes, well, you know, using dream spells, you can always visit faraway vistas and be in contact with people that you would otherwise not be able to meet rapidly. Are you suggesting something? I am indeed being very suggestive, Captain. Well, I have a bed right there. I can get some Z's if you want to do something. Then just lie down and close your eyes, Captain Underhill. I'll be with you shortly. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you actually dream almost immediately yeah about finding yourself back on that beach where mm -hmm. you saw lady ovandra for the first time mm -hmm. except that this time there are no tourists there are no threats and there are no elves around mm -hmm. She's uh, lounging in her uh, chair near the edge of the water, a, an umbrella right above her head, uh, casting shade on her slender, drow body. And not, the only picture I have in mind is the Inspector Gadget villain, but like you see the back of the chair and you just see her hand motioning yeah. you closer. Um, I'm going to try and wheel some drinks into my hand. Just to see if I can or not. I don't know if this is a loose, like, it actually drink or not. works. Okay. So, <coughs> you realize that you're also dressed in your regular outfit at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and switch to uh, my, my beach, you know, my beach wear. You know. Which uh, I picture is a 1920s. Uh, 1920 no. swimsuit, like no, no 1800 no, swimsuit. No, it's like the the um like full white... body onesie. No, no, no. It's like white slacks with like a white button up. Uh, you know, but it's like not like regular slacks, but you know when like <laughs> the the Panama the, the the Panama Beach. Exactly. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. yeah. I get, uh, I get Clark, with you. Clark Gable, on mm -hmm. the yes, yeah. Exactly. Um, so, yeah. And you have your two drinks in your hands. Mm 
mm -hmm. and you approach Lady Avandra, and we'll fade to black on that because things <laughs> will be heating up very quickly. No, I, I just messed up the air conditioning. I'm sorry. <laughs> and that <laughs> is why we have protocols in place. <laughs> That's why it was locked. cold. We're in space. I thought it was a good idea for us to crank up the heat by I... figuring out a way to have a stove. You actually, <laughs> uh, Ander, spend about a week with her in that dream. Um, you don't recall needing to sleep while you're in this dream state. But you do recall seeing, you know, the motion of the, you know, the movement of the sun in the sky and mm -hmm. the planet orbiting and, you know, seeing the moon and the night sky and then having it switch back and forth to daytime and nighttime uh, about five or six times before you start dreaming of a giant, disgusting fish that comes out of the water and with almost wraith-like tentacles grab hold of Lady Avandra and drag her into its immense mouth. And that's when you wake up in cold sweat from this nightmare, which would have caused you eight points of psychic damage. Hmm. You awaken right. to find yourself alone aboard the ship. If you ping the rest of the crew, they doesn't they don't seem to be there. If you listen in on the comms, however, you hear a what the fuck? Ah, what is this? Get back, get back, pew pew pew. Fire in the hole. Prayers to the void. Burn it with fire. And, and similar that's just things. From me. Lots oh. of cursing. <laughs> Lots of cursing. And then silence. I guess I try and find them? You would notice on the ship's radar that they are outside of the ship. Mm -hmm. uh, about 500 meters away. And they are making their way back to you. Um, so I'm going to be on the comms and be like, Hey, what's, what's going on? I, uh... I was stuck in a dream for a week or something. I don't know. I'm glad your date went well. We had Why didn't anyone wake me up? <laughs> because everyone else, when they woke up, were in massive <laughs> amounts of pain. And it's a giant undead piece of crap. Thank you, Doxy, for exploding it. Um, I need a nap. It's, is it dead? Oh, oh yes. it's dead, dead, dead. Yes, we killed Very it. Dead. Do you need me to uh, start the ship? Me too. Yes. To... Okay. Yes. Yes. Warm up the engine. I'm starting the ship. I'm also on like a personal comm calling Avandra to see if she picks up. Um, yes. <laughs> Just Simon, out of curiosity, uh, are we like kind of removing the uh, birthday gift and everything else? Oh, no. Or... You already shrunk the birthday gift. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> So, did that dream end with a horrific uh, anglerfish eating you? Okay. Simon, Simon's dying. <coughs> so what was your question, uh, Justin? Uh, oh, I called uh, Avandra back okay. af after I started the ship to see. It's like, is she... <laughs> Is she like mentally like broken, or uh, did she have the same end of the dream that I had? An angler shift, Anders. Is that how you call what's in your trousers? Um, no. Um, <laughs> we, um, I like where your head's at, but um, I was pulled out of your dream magic a little prematurely because. I don't know what happened, but some weird psychic anglerfish thing literally ate you. No, one moment you were there, the next you weren't. I figured you woke up. Um, nope, that was that was definitely definitely. Well, I did wake up, but um, no, it, it was a weird psychic invasion. 
of the dream that we were sharing earlier. Hmm. That is very sad. But... The rest of it was great. Just, uh, that, that kind of threw me off. Like, a lot. <laughs> um, I kind of <laughs> saw you die after a great week. Well, I didn't die. Don't worry. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm glad to, you know, you're here. You know, that's great. Yes. Um, just kind of, you know, I was there for a week. You died. Um, I wake up. People are screaming. Oh, God. Oh, God. Why? And then, you know, find out they're running from something they just killed. And then I called you. So, yeah, now now I'm here. <laughs> it's, so I'm just worry, kind of I playing catch up right now. It's only been two days, which, to be fair, is a whole lot more than I've had other people's last in the dreams. Well, you know, uh, small package, a lot of energy. Uh -huh. Well, at least in dream form. We'll see about meat space at some other time. Yeah, sounds like a plan. As soon as we deal with all of this. Uh, anyways, I've got to get my crew taken care of, uh, nice. make sure they have an escape. So We're reaching was... the next moss station. I'm going to have to go dark for a bit, but we'll catch up later. Looking forward to it. And the moment your communication cuts off, you look up from your data pad to see Twitch's face, just looking quizzically at you. It says, who was that, Captain? It was uh, Vandra. Oh. Oh. Yeah. You're on first name basis now. I, I heard am. she called you Anders. Is that your name? Huh? Nobody keeps yep. me abreast of what's happening. So who was Zendak? Is it someone you killed? Uh, that was my cover. Oh. Oh, wow. I am really late on all the news. I'm, I mean, I informed you of this months ago. I don't recall. Probably weren't listening. Mm, maybe. I feel... I feel like I've done a great deal of harm to this ship and this crew over the years with my incessant um, teenage-like attitude. Is this personal growth I'm seeing? Well, ever since I replaced my core with that giant yellow ball that I found in your office, it... Um, Wait. It's made me realize things. Wait, you... Yeah, and you notice, I'm not like, aware of it. I'm no, not but you notice now like... there's, like, a yellow light glowing from Wait. his, like, chest cavity. So you snuck into my <laughs> office. Quarters, yes. Yeah. And you decided to fiddle with the god baby and put it inside you. Oh, is that what you call it? A god baby? Yeah, it's it's quite literally a, a a god seed. Oh, I don't know. It just it called me. Oh my god! I had to. <laughs> I had to touch it. I had to, uh, Captain. It's just. I've... You know how it is. You see something. You need to play with it. You replace your heart know, with it. I don't even know how you got in. Like my quarters have special locks on them. The door was actually wide open. You were on your bed, trashing and making sounds. I don't know why the door was open. It, it should have been closed, but... I don't know. The door was open, and that orange ball was on your desk. Yeah, that's where it was for safekeeping, so that this wouldn't happen. Well, it now replaces my power core, and I feel a whole lot better. I've also grown uh, wiser, I believe. At least... At least you're becoming... Uh, more mature, I guess. Oh, probably. Um, oh I'm just like, in the back of my head, I'm just like, oh my god, is he going to replace Old Oon? Are we going to have Twitch as one of the new gods of the universe? Oh god. That oh would god. be... Why? <laughs> that would be something. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what Andrews is thinking in the back of his head as he's going through this conversation. <laughs> 
Uh, so, uh, the group left, by the way, I thought I should inform you, Captain. Um, it was uh, quite yeah. mysterious. There's this very suspicious person that came on board. Uh, they, uh, I don't know who they are, but they arrived, and then all of a sudden, they start drinking with Eddard. And Eddard has been forsaking me ever since. I gotcha. Um, well, I know that they're on the way back to the ship, and we will see them... Uh, you know, we'll see them shortly and we can get that all sorted. I got the ship started here, uh, you know, sitting in like the pilot's chair, getting all the systems ready to go. Um, and we'll get this sorted with this mysterious person that's uh, replaced you in Edit's eyes. Oh, well, <laughs> good. Um, if you see Eddard, I'll let him know that, you know, if he wants to apologize, I'll be in his quarters. I, I will let him know that you're in his quarters waiting for an apology. Good. Thank you, Captain. Of course. And as Twitch leaves, <laughs> the hangar bay doors open and the rest of the crew climb on board. And here you little shit. Been <laughs> forsaken <laughs> you. Come on. <laughs> All right. So um, I'm guessing you immediately go to the pilot's chair. What, me? Yeah, you. I mean, are we I can't fly. Just... I don't know what we're doing. I'm yes. I'm still catching we're, up. You're we're, sober. We're getting off this rock. Yep. And getting the fuck away from here. I don't care where we go. Apparently there. And get out of this on. armor that's like glistening with ectoplasm. Uh, yes, I feel like most of us need a shower and a rest. All right. Well, let's get off this rock, I guess, and then we'll we'll do the showers and you know what i've had enough sleep for a couple days so you know y'all do what you need to do um but let's get off the rock first let, 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 let me do this real quick oh walter oh also uh edit um yep. uh, twitch is sitting in your 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 um domicile waiting for you to apologize to him for abandoning him I... it might take a while I... edit hasn't been sleeping in his domicile excuse me <laughs> Those weren't your pants you showed up in the med bay aren't with. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, Walter, could you take the ship off the handbrake and get us into orbit? Uh, yes, sir. I don't know what handbrake means, but I will happily drive this ship away from here. We anchor and let's get out of here. <laughs> aye, aye, sir. Oh, aye, aye. God. Um, by the way, Zendak, you would discover that a... Uh, Anders. <laughs> Anders. Did I say Zendak? Yes. Got too used to it. Anders, uh, a fourth person climbed on board. Uh, a fourth person that looks like... Gideon? I gotta, do, I gotta describe him again. Yeah. <laughs> Fine. Um, you, um, an older gentleman, um, very much still um, in his prime. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, he has um, silver hair, um, silver beard, and mustache. Um, on the paler side, uh, he's wearing a really nice, um, like overcoat type thing. Well, underneath, you know, the the, the whole space, we can't breathe contraption. Um, um, that's um, red uh, with like some gold accoutrements on it. Um, uh and uh his eyes are completely nebula like uh like there's no no white same thing like that just looks like stars mm -hmm. uh it's just not important is that he has a rapier on his side uh and yeah other clothes that people wear okay um are you are you like a uh, human or elf or I'm uh near human. Warped. Near human? Okay. Which is gotcha. where the eyes come from. Mm. Gotcha. Uh, um so uh Twitch mentioned that the the crew had met a new friend, so I'm guessing you him. Uh oh what the fuck is a Twitch? Uh wonky it's, ass robot. Um, that, uh... Yeah, it's it's a long story, but <clears> yes. <throat> He's a he's a robot that came with the ship. Got it. You don't need to explain anymore. I'm just not up to your, um, you know, whatever the hell this yes. is. Um, hello. 
um, as he kind of does like a not a bow, but like kind of gets like um, a a a a swivel, kind of gets a ha ha. <laughs> um, uh, Gideon's the name. Um, I'm with Captain him. Hilltopple. Um, so I basically almost immediately trust you simply by the fact that Twitch doesn't, because uh, he's broke ass robot. Um, so you you with Edid. Um, I'm assuming maybe you're associated with uh, the whole royal, you know, coup thing, or... Uh, let's make this um, hour-long conversation into 10 <laughs> seconds. Okay. Um, I was his father's best friend. Um, mm -hmm. I was the reason he was, um, um, as you say, um, uh, carbonated. Frozen, uh -huh. whatever. Frozen. Frozen. Yes. Uh... I have been his protector. Well, I was his protector for a long time, and now I'm making sure that he's fine. Since you know, people are buying stuff with his code in it. Don't well, want people who are uh, are enemies to find him. So here I am. Well, welcome aboard. Um, you know, that's that's all I need to know for now. So uh, that's let's... all you were going to know for now. <laughs> all right. Well, you know what? I like the cut of your jib. So let's get off this ship. Uh, I understand that while I was trapped in some weird dream magic, y'all uh, had to deal with some stuff, and y'all might need some rest. So let's let's get that taken care of, and then we can figure out where to go next. Wherever he goes, I'm going. So I guess I'm stuck here. Walter chimes in, um, Captain. A destination would be like, would be advisable, or do I just fly around this field of asteroids? Uh, for now, just get far enough off this rock that nothing on this rock can touch us. That is good enough destination. And the ship takes off and moves away. A few kilometers away from, uh, like, enough that you can still see the asteroid field um, mm -hmm. on the monitors, but, you know... Not enough to be within, like, fire, far enough that you're not within firing range of anything that could potentially mm -hmm. fire at you. <coughs> all right. So, um, we're all here. I know you'll need some rest. And then are we going to head to Lakshay to try and get added back where he belongs on the throne or we'd need to do anything before then that's not happening anytime soon i'm very far away you're here oh hell no you know we could do it in about if my math is right about three weeks based on the fact that doxy is um well prepared certain points of terminals just depends on how good a liar you are captain you know um I pretended to be someone else for for how long before revealing my true identity to all of you? Two seasons. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I well, mean, we also were not questioning your identity at that time. Now we know better. You knew his identity was a lie. Well, kind well, of. Subconsciously. Anyways, it doesn't matter. The point comes back to the point. You're a very good lawyer, sir, and then I'm quite sure that you could be a perfectly good spin doctor if you chose. And really, it's all about putting the right... And she kind of side glances at Eddard, who probably still looks like... Well, half covered in ectoplasmum, cutting in a suit, and not 100%. <laughs> Making that look like a prince here to save them from the illithid horror. Yeah, that's not hard to do. What? Good. If you need any questions about terminology or political whatever, um, wake me up in about ten hours. Other than uh, that... For now, we need to make sure if your plan, our plan, is to get him back on the throne, on an expedited date, I need to make sure that those in the resistance are prepared for this, because there will be some kickback. Mm, of course, uh, there there certainly will be some loyalists to the um, Your pretenders on the throne. Yeah. Terrorists, surfers, yeah. whatever you want to call them. Uh, those who killed Eddard's parents to be mm -hmm. very 
blunt. Let me know yeah. if you need any help with communication or... And Captain, I, I, I do. I have been trying with some new software to... Um, <clears throat> uh, shall we say... Uh, can we puppeteer Erid and just have us speak and act through him so that we can make sure that he's does what he's supposed to do when he's supposed to do it? No, 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 like, no, no, and, no. and his face is excited. Hey, whoa. <laughs> Cap- oh, hold Captain, on. Captain, the problem with that becomes if he's ever taken off guard and he's not prepared, then the whole thing goes out the door. No, we need to... Oh no! Have I was him. I was hoping I could just perfectly control him, and uh, I mean, I mean, um, <laughs> I mean, you know, and you won't let me he's... deal, and you won't let me deal with things in the expedited manner. But this is what you want to do. Remind yeah. me again. I I can't what? deal with things my way. Oh right then. Um, no, it's it should be what we easy. call a special exception. And, uh, <laughs> Captain, um, we are not going to puppet master Eddard. I, it wasn't going to be forever. Just like when he's in court. Oh, wow. That's not. No, no, no. We just need him to be smile and nod and say he'll have to think about it and contemplate these things. These matters take us an amount of time. I love the list. We can drop the script. I heard quite enough of it for growing up. Uh, um, I guess we can train him. I mean, you know, it's like a, if there's one thing I know, it's, it's uh, you know, customs and uh, royal. Yeah. Are we getting Procedure. into a training Protocols. montage of yeah, like Eddard I imagine. becoming a prince? No, 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 no. This oh, is God. this is the My Fair Lady montage. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, the rain in Spain me. stays manly on the plane. <laughs> you may be a captain, but I don't know you from this or that. What exact knowledge do you have on a royal court, or you know, being someone of status other than a spaceship? Uh, oh, so, he knows court for right. So, um, I'm a lawyer on the intergalactic scale, which means that I have to be able to interact with a variety of different cultures and a variety of different legal systems um, across the galaxy on a week-to-week basis. So, I've become accustomed to uh, what certain courts expect from certain people. Uh, at any given time uh, due to that exposure to the various royals and courts and uh, this, that, and the other through my time as in both civil and criminal uh, cases. So we got a lawyer, a priestess, and someone who I still don't know what's going on with you. Uh, you might be fine at it. Maybe. <laughs> I, I think that... I survived long enough with this ragtag team of people. I kind of imagine when fine. you when you said that, Gideon, uh, uh, Doxy is like just like on on like a um, hard light screen, just like working on something. Huh? Oh, uh, hi. <laughs> and, and, goes back to... <laughs> and if you want to be, if you do want to be technical about it, Gideon. Some of us do have that status thing from birth. I, I don't really know you either, but I had a feeling that you weren't just um, take this as lightly and not offensive as possible, a puppet of the void. No, I haven't been a puppet of anyone for a very long time since I turned around and said, fuck you to the thing that, you know, people like to worship in the big bowl of gas. Because the void at least asked me my permission first. Uh, I'm there um, to hear that when it comes to the religious aspect of just. And no, it 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 was not, a puppet of the void. No, I'm I'm definitely not that. Definitely not that. If I was a puppet, I'd be in a lot better shape. But I've seen what you could do. I figure you're not actually a puppet. No, but my deity likes me. So there's that. Um. Captain, you said that our other friend is still breathing the other night before you enjoyed your date. Um, so, uh, Aminette, yep, he is currently with, uh, Avandra on their ship, and on 
and uh, he last last I checked, he was hysterically screaming uh, Katesh, Lady Katesh, over and over again. Um, yeah. Oh, good. We can send him his son. I'm going to bed. Don't need me in the next ten hours. If you make anything, you better be ble actively bleeding before needing me. As I was undoing my armor. Uh, I'm... Edward, Edward, come on now. You know how to use a band-aid. <laughs> fine, uh. fine. This is a thing that you need to worry about. Uh, I will cast Mass Cure Wounds. That actually feels a lot better. Oh, and because she can do this now at level 7, take 25 Dang. hit points. Oh, and she's going to bed. I feel so healthy. It does I'm... nothing for you, but it might do something for them, and I'm going back to bed. Oh, I, no, I took a... I did take some damage. Uh, oh, with, right. Mm -hmm. Right at the very end there. A the little eight. bit. Yeah, eight points. <coughs> Um, of my 89 HP. Oh, that that actually really helped because like Doxy was definitely like <laughs> just like that all kinds of. Oh. Yep, but uh, at least then she does that. She lets the void go, and turn around and like walks into her room and slams the door shut and actually manually locks it before engaging all protocols. It's like fuck you all. I'm going to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think she's mad. Well, she does have some um, levels of exhaustion right now. So yeah, it's like she hasn't slept for, what, six. four days? <laughs> that doesn't sound I forgot about that exhaustion. Did I? I got hit. I, I'm, at le I'm at two levels? Yeah. No, everyone else is... Everyone else should only be at one? I got. I, think I got hit twice. Okay, you got hit twice. I was the one who, I, I was the one who failed every con save. I saved them. Oh. What is, you did save I, mean, I mean, I could go back up in, in the chat, but I do remember that, um, Gideon, you failed at least one. That I, I, no, I, I think I failed one. I thought, I thought it might have been two. Okay. Because well, there were only three checks that I made you uh, all um, do. Because then it might have been one. Yeah, I can you proudly failed, say you I didn't one. fail a single one. Because you didn't have one. <laughs> yeah. So, no, because I thought I was, because I was the one... Yeah, I was the, there were only three, and I failed them all, and I was the, and you, other people, different people failed different times, but I yeah. still, but the others have you only failed once. So, she's gone to bed. Don't need her. Don't break nothing. You know, it's like when mom closes the door and says, you know, if it, you're not actively bleeding or there's broken bones, don't bother me. Uh, mm -hmm. Gideon looks over at it uh, and, like, not to go to another room. A second. Okay. Uh, well, there's plenty of rooms here, and I'll be I'm stripping off my armor anyway, so I'll be uh, I'll be there in a second. Great. Let's say you head to the recreation room because nobody goes there anyway. <laughs> you have a rec room. Where's the recreation room? This it's right cool. across. It's right across the hall oh, from the kitchen. No. Oh yeah. That's right. Love no, no, no. Eddard, Eddard goes there. It's where he watches movies with Shred. <laughs> yeah, we made yeah, we transformed that into a big movie theater. Yeah. You you decided to switch part of the hangar to a uh, a ball uh, court. Yeah, a volleyball court before yeah. even going to the rec room. You <laughs> bought a holo deck before going to the rec room. Oh ball. right. That's funny. We make. Very thoughtful choice. Well, you bought oh. a holo deck so you could pull off a heist. That's true. Mm -hmm. uh, it yes. was the best purchase ever. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. So we could totally stage mm -hmm. all kinds of like uh, simulations. Uh, Simulations. Well, also, if editor is going to make announcements and things like that, we can like make the holodeck be the stage where then I can project it and make it look like it's real. So it's like, haha, bitches, I'm already on the throne. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, so, Gideon and uh, Edar, do you head on over to a uh, to the rec room? Um, and um, once Edard gets in there, um, I guess kind of do a gesture with my fingers as I make sure the doors are locked. Um, and, uh, also 
make sure that I mean I'm sure somebody can probably override it, but it's fine. Uh, just making sure like any speakers or things of that nature, just things are turned off, so no nothing's being heard. You techno men see the place out. I do, um, and I just look over. I'm not gonna keep you long. Uh, Yes, we all got fucked up by the shit Doxy got us into. Uh, obviously, a lot has happened within the last, what, two, 12, 24 hours? Um, yes. I just want to make sure, because I never, I'll never force you into something that you don't want. No matter how much it matters to a lot of people, no matter how much it matters to me and your family, you're still your own person. Um, I won't lack shape back, but not at the expense of your health. It seems like I'm not the only one who had ideas and wants for you to get back on that throne. It looks like your friends have their own plans. Are you okay with this? I'm not sure what their plans are, aside from putting me there in order to win the war against well, the warden. I mean, the invasion of the uh, mind flayers. Uh, you know them more than I do, so I can't. I, I I can't gather information as fast as I would like to understand their motives, and I don't doubt that they don't have your best interests in heart. But I just want to make sure that you're at least mentally emotionally ready for what could happen doesn't look like it's happening anytime soon but it's gonna happen sooner or later i believe i'm ready and i have i have a plan once i'm once we have dealt with the incursion i have a plan can i ask what that plan is yeah abdication you know, one word isn't a plan. You can explain it a little better. Oh. Well, I would give the planets back to the people. They would choose people to... I don't want to say reign, but... but... You would turn your monarchy into a democracy? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's a good Somebody start. neglected history. Right. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> It'll be fine. Okay, I mean, I trust. I just want to make sure that you understand that if if I could have gotten you back on the throne already, it would have happened by now, which means this is not as easy as it's being made out to be. I quite it literally be have been gathering this resistance since I put you under. What about the resistance themselves? Are they open to me being on the throne, or do they have their own plan? Everyone that I've spoken to who has who has taken the vow to make sure that what was wronged is now right everyone is prepared and willing to be behind you once you take the throne back okay as long as someone from the royal line is there they're okay every single last one of them have been wronged by the people who have usurped your th your, your throne you know this right yeah I, I do what happens if i'm not on the throne afterward are they going to as long, against whatever is there. As long as, I mean, I can't speak for everyone. I'm not a telepath. But yet. as long as, yet. Hey. Um, uh, as long as they're gone and whatever decisions happen after that, that's that. I doubt they'll care. <laughs> What matters more than you being on the throne is the usurpers being off of it. I can work with that. And if that means you need to name someone to to watch the throne while you have your space travels with your friends, then so be it. Why would I have to name someone to be on the throne? 
own if I, as I said, why, if I give it back to the people, they, they can decide who they want. Well, every it's not a throne by itself, but even if it's a throne or it's a, a, a title, someone has to lead the kingdom. A democracy still has someone that it's it's public face, for lack of a better word. Oh. I mean, I don't see why I couldn't say that. If that's what you want, I mean, I'm just making sure that you are prepared. That's all. You seem to not want any part of it before, so I'm just making sure that you have contingencies just in case. I mean, I could easily reluctantly do the job. And I'm pretty sure I would do a okay job at being a king, which I've never been a prince. I don't know if I have enough knowledge to be able to become nobility. Well, luckily, you're talking to someone who quite literally advised your your father while he was on the throne. And it seems like your friends have some knowledge to give you to. That's true. I'm pretty sure they could make a very good counselors as well. I'm sure they will. All right, I won't, I won't hold you longer. I just wanted to make sure that. I have contingencies in place in that not going to Okay. Hey, from this point, you're technically my liege, even though I'm never going to call you that. You're basically my son and a half, so just just be careful, that's all I'm saying. Papa? Don't. <laughs> I, I would never. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> all right, kiddo. Well, you're not a kid anymore, but go to bed. All I right. need to take a shower. This is fucking disgusting. Thanks, Doc. No, you can see him do this <laughs> just to make sure that Doxy can hear. Thanks, Doxy. <laughs> what? Who said my name? <laughs> the ship is haunted. <laughs> Would be surprised. I'm not another ghost. He'll probably walk past and like pat his shoulder or something and walk off to the room designated to him. Oh, we, we have like common showers. You actually Very have like three separate bathrooms, <laughs> and common showers for the one shower scene that you needed. We've already went through. Those were decontamination showers. That's not the same thing. <laughs> I mean, it gets steamy in there, right? Well, also, I mean, after uh, Angler Fish of Doom, uh, you may want to decontaminate just in case. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah. Apparently, it's... I gotta go to my room to talk to uh, Twitch, so I'll see what's going on. I don't knock. I open my own door. <laughs> Twitch is there. Hello, Twitch. Sitting on your bed. Yeah. Reading your book. Oh, the book that I was using to learn magic. Yeah. Okay. Which... I still have to learn a little bit. This is very interesting, Eddard. Are you replacing me with magic tricks? No, I hardly think I can replace you with anything. Um, uh, just fucking with you. You can't replace me with anything. No, actually, I needed to talk to you. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, don't mind if I change? Uh, I do mind. Okay. Just wait Say until I'm, I'm gone. Yeah. Um, you remember that fight with the orcs that we had? The orcs? Wait, he, he was out there with us? Yeah, I was. See, I wasn't of a great help because my carbine kept... I don't know, my aim was off? I thought you had one of the best carbine we had on the ship. I thought so too, but it seems like uh, you only gave me some like second-hand equipment. Like I'm some sort of soulless NPC. <laughs> you, also, you also have the two machine pistols, Woe and something else. That, if I recall correctly, that's a pretty gnarly artifact. But you feel, what, you feel like I'm not taking good care of you? I think it's I might like... have misplaced the pistols, but yes. 
<laughs> I feel like I should be included more. I mean, I am, after all, your most loyal soldier. You are. And everyone's talking about placing you on the throne and everything, and going on about Lakshay and everything, and it makes me think. Like you're going uh, to discard me the moment you become a king. Because you'll have your own army. So, here is my official request to become the general of your troops. I don't have troops. Yeah, but you will the moment you sit your ass on that throne. Okay, I can lead them. Your... I've been what playing you... I've been playing um Elves versus Avaras with uh Zred a couple times. So I'm a master strategist now. Strategist. Okay. And how many times did Gandhi nuke you? I don't know who Gandhi is. He's the one that is crazy with the nukes. Oh, first. it's not a computer game. It's a tabletop game. Like, you know, we play oh. on the table like real generals and we push little plastic figures around. Okay, that gives you a semblance of strategic knowledge. That yeah, and I've been cool. in a few combats. I know what it looks like. I'm, I'm fully capable of becoming a general. I don't even know what's going to happen tomorrow. And you already want me to think about you becoming a gen general of my troops? What's the worst that could happen? I mean, don't think too hard about it. Just think about tomorrow. It seems like any gets up from your bed, closes the book, taps your shoulder. It says, it seems like tomorrow is challenging enough for you at art. Yes. It's been a crazy 24 hours. Are you... Are you okay? Oh, definitely. I think. I've been feeling strange lately. Okay. What? You know what? Let me ask you this because I don't think I've ever actually asked you this. How are you? Oh my god, it's been four seasons and now someone asks me how I am. Well, to let you know, Edard, I am feeling fine. I'm actually feeling feeling very fine. Um, everything is well. Everything is in place. And then his voice changes to like a deep, low pitch and says, everything is going according to plan. What? What? What plan? What are you talking about? You have a plan? I thought no, you were you only thinking about tomorrow. No, no. You have. A, you just said that everything is according, going according to plan. What's your plan? Right now, I'm thinking about switching the fire, uh, all of the material in the fire extinguishers to confettis. What? That would what? be hilarious. What? I mean, did it, hold on. That, that is something that old Twitch would have done anyway for some. I mean, by old Twitch, I mean ship Twitch. Yeah. Hey, so um, think about tomorrow, and uh, I'll think about becoming a general. Okay, don't mess with the fire extinguisher in case there's a fire. Plus, I'm pretty sure Kibesh put some safeties on them, so the moment you go to mess them up, you're going to, I don't know, ring an alarm bell, and she's going to come storming out and dismantle you. Ah, nobody's going to touch me. I'm untouchable. I go to touch him. What about that? I'm untouchable. I know 243 different ways I can break that finger. Okay. Oh, sorry. I think I muted myself just in time. Oh, yes. <coughs> now, if you'll excuse me, your highness, lordship. Oh, please don't. I, I'm not there yet. Sir, may yeah. I be dismissed? Yes, I don't control your going and... I don't know how to act with royalty. I only all know how to act around Anders. That's royalty enough. I don't if know. You... Do halflings have royalty? I should go ask should... him. That's not a bad idea, actually. Hey, Captain. The Twitch leaves you. I'd like to know, um, as all of these discussions are taking place, Doxy, is there anything that you were working on specifically or something that you wanted to do? 
Um, <clears throat> yeah, so uh, I imagine that Doxy, like, as soon as he's rested a little bit, um, would uh, go and uh, meet up with Rosemary, uh, make sure she's okay. Uh, and, like, they'd probably have, like, a small discussion. We don't necessarily have to role-play or anything about what just happened. Um, and then uh, would be in the process of working on the, the, uh, the big mech and, like, doing any kind of customizations and, like, setting it up. And also kind of, like, tinkering with the... Or not tinkering with the design, but uh, working on... Um, Oh shoot! What I call it? Uh, Lola two point All right. Yeah, keep working on your dream project. Of, uh, yep. And you make you make a few uh, a bit of of uh, progress on Lola two point um, Of course, you're not under industrious worker anymore. Two seconds. So you make. You know, progress for a day of work in a day. <laughs> um, and I would like to know, now that, you know, you've discussed and everything, um, the next day you can all take one level of exhaustion off of your characters. Is there anything that you wanted to do? Is there, Alter will ask you again if you have a destination in mind? Or do we leave the ship on <clears throat> idle next to an asteroid field? Ooh. So, all right. Like, um, so I know one of one of many of objectives of ours is currently get edit on the throne. So it's not going to take too terribly long to get there from here. Do we want to head that way? Or is there something we need to do before we get that way? I mean, obviously, we need to train Edid some on uh, courtly affairs. Can we do that in time for him to be ready? That's not the question you need to be asked. And the question is, are you prepared for the onslaught that's going to happen when we attempt to put him back on the throne? Um, we, we are currently um, making plans for that but yes i think that we have some things in place to uh minimize the bloodshed it may captain perhaps we should just have a i, I kind of imagine like if the, if we're not already doing this that uh we call people to kind of the uh strategy table or whatever kitchen table Yes, the, <laughs> <laughs> the war room. Yeah, I forgot. Yeah. I forgot. Um, uh, and we are discussing. Uh, um, perhaps it would be wise to review. Uh, and Doxy will uh, uh, like put up a, a hard light display of kind of the yeah, different the stuff, things like that are moving around. Uh, like the different points of interest and other things. Mm -hmm. um, if you all want to discuss what those were, because I do not remember as a player. I don't either. Well, the point is that we have a particular vessel that's designed to look a particular way to try and tap into the nostalgia of a bunch of people that are politically affiliated with the resistance. We have a prince that we can use for this. We have a very good lawyer that can put words in the prince's mouth. We have a few nobles that can teach him to look, act, and pretend to be a prince long enough to attract the right attention. Um, and we start with the um, PR campaign. I believe that's where we are starting. Hmm. So are we trying to do something more explosive and, and sudden, or something more built up, where inspiring others to rise? Well, no, no, no. Well, yes, both and is the answer to that one. Um, inspiring others to rise only works if you actually have people that are willing to stand there and doesn't always work. I mean, look at that whole bit about the scholars and the pretending to help a bunch of people in the streets of a city that nobody really cared about and nobody really thought they would do anything, but they all ended up dead and then that was the point at which we could use them for the rallying cries against the people. You always need a martyr of some sort. Um, 
in just this case, we're not going to let this one get dead. Um, so instead, you have our very nice um, hollow deck. We can start at the, uh, what are they called? Um, Transmissions of the Resistance? Something catchy. Ed, um, Anders would figure that out. He's much better at that than I am. Um, discussing the current political affairs, issues involving, wouldn't it have been better? I'm sorry that Lakshay is in such terrible troubles that these mind flayers are rising against us. But look, one of the line of God, what is your family name, Eddard? I'm sorry, I've forgotten. Well, the name we've adopted is Cade. What would have been the name that I knew, um, Simon? Um, the original name of the family. Sun uh, Wukong. Yeah. They are descendants of the Wukongs. You want to spell that for me? Because I'm going to do your shit. Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Wukong, I got it. I thought that's uh, what you said. I was like, wait, what? Sun Wukong, yeah. Um, we approach him, with it, uh, but look, although the, dark, the, day, the night is beginning to darken, there is hope for the descendant of Sun Wukong himself appears and look we make him look shiny and pretty and put him in all of your different televisions and we bounce the signal a bunch of places so they don't end up shooting at us and then become a voice of the people and blah 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 blah, blah all these things that you know i have an idea two things one perhaps we we start with spreading a message of well gideon can you tell uh, tell us more about the resistance and, and how they're currently working. Um, yeah, Simon, you messaged me a name and I don't. I, it was in Zoom and it's gone now. <laughs> uh, which one? The resistance, what do we call them? Um, it's like, son, no, the, the rain, no, I don't remember. <laughs> the name of the resistance? Yes. Um, you had, you said we, uh, oh, was it the place they were? Yeah, it's uh, the place that they were at. Yeah, what was that? Um, notes. Right, notes. <laughs> I'm like, it was in Zoom, and you know, Zoom doesn't save anything. The night is starting to flow, terrorists. Yes, it is. Uh, anywho, while he's getting yeah, there. I'm I'm gonna look it up while no, uh, no problem. Um, the resistance is many places. They're in one particular place. When the name will come to me in a second. Um. But what matters is as long as we, I, um, inform them of the plan, they will be ready to um, continue this PR plan, as you call it. Um, well, I, I had one. I had one idea um, that I've seen, and like Doxy pulls up like old footage from different uh, eras of, of history. Um, where uh, organization resistances have had the groups with a, a messenger uh, leading up to uh, the rise of a fallen prince or or messiah or or some sort of uh, a previous leader um, that then led to them being presented in some dramatic form. Um, maybe that could be our message. Yeah, but it always works. Be it always worked better when they had the actual prince that you could point at and say, "Look, we brought the guy along," which is why he needs to do the talking. He needs to be the voice of the people. I can get them riled up, but there's nothing I physically can do that will change. He has to be the one to do it. I might be of the royal family, but I'm not royal blood. I, I suppose. I suppose what I was thinking was something that we can do while. Uh, be ready at it. Oh, we can start dropping hints in various notices. Yeah, yeah. Um, questions about kind of like, paternity, like, line of descent, the missing prince. Have you heard rumor mongering? It's the, some of the an best information things. campaign, if you will. Exactly, yes. whisper campaigns. Oh, speaking of Gideon, um, you'd probably be the only one who still remembers. Was he in betrothed and or had an arranged marriage at any point in time? Definitely not. Mm, that would have made At this easier. point, that person would be long gone. <laughs> yes, but the person isn't important. It's the family lineage that those are tied to. Um, he wasn't at that point yet. Well, 
would have been, but long story. I thought you humans, like, lived much shorter than we did. We do. However, mm. at the time of thinking about continuing the line, since he was only a prince and the king was still in his prime, the infiltration happened, the betrayal, getting him off, we wasn't actually... This is very interesting. We arranged these things much earlier. Like you about know, five or six. We, um, we have a thing called free rule, and <laughs> um, we, we, we wait a bit. <laughs> a little bit. Hmm. It would have made life easier. Hmm. Do we know of anyone of the appropriate lineages who are still alive? Other than Eddard? Yes. No, no, no. I mean, not, not the prince, but the appropriate lineage for him to marry. Whoa, 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 uh, whoa, whoa, hold on, hold on. You want me to just... Are you, are you trying to arrange a marriage for... No. Edit, uh, no, wait. this is not happening. The parents are talking. Wait. Um. <laughs> I can shoot you both right now. <laughs> oh, boy. Edit, please, tell me how you're going to shoot at your doctor and see how that will go. And don't forget, I trained your father. You think you could actually take me out? I can, I'm gonna just shoot you on principle at this point. Oh boy. Yes. <laughs> regardless. No, but regardless. Uh, but the point is, it's. That might be a, a great grandson, daughter. I, I don't know what you prefer. Uh, it, yeah, it's. Really, that's not an issue. Whatever he likes, it's. We could do the whole thing. Reproduction is very easy. It's, you know, I have an incubator. <laughs> now, with that. What is this? No. You are. No. Okay. No. Royalty lesson number one, Eddard. It's not about you, it's about the family. It's about you the are line. Exactly. I, once my ass cheeks are touching that seat, <laughs> and that subsequently we win the war against the Illitids, I'm going to get out of that chair and give it back to the people. I don't want a dynasty. You might not be sitting in the chair once it's all said and done, but you will still be the leader of the people, whether you're a king or, I don't know, as the old age human said, a president. <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah. And realistically speaking, your lineage will continue whether you desire it or not. Family lineage is the most important part. Welcome to nobility 101. There's the in then there's the proper way to learn to insult your uh, peers so that it doesn't sound like an insult, but you can definitely get a little bit of dig on them. It's a skill that one is very useful for. I haven't used most of these skills in years. It'll be quite good fun. Oh, we really should call him. Hmm. Him. Never mind. I'll do that later. Um, no, no, him who? Nothing. Never mind. It's none of your business. Um. I guess while we're talking in circles, <laughs> but the point is, the point Edward is, is a thing. <laughs> but, 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 the point, but the point this is why we have is, protocols. This is why we have protocols. Uh, but the point is, if, he's, if there's no one of the appropriate lineages left still alive, then we can just prevent him prayer accompli with his chosen um, girlfriend. A consort is valuable. And Whitney and, uh, pipes up. Yeah. Yeah. I would like to know what are your plans for me, because apparently... I have lost all agency about mm, 20 minutes ago. I didn't oh. wasn't planning your loss of agency, but you were dating him. Are dating him. Are you not going to continue that? Well, it depends, apparently. The uh, aristocrats aboard this ship have decided to take control of Eddard's life. Well, we're not taking control. It's merely something that was going to happen, whether it was, you know, thousands of years ago, or now. Or, I could have let him die, which is kind of morbid, but I won't do that. <laughs> no, and I'm all for liberating Lakshay from whatever dictatorship is currently in charge, but... I'm sure the Resistance has other leaders. What about you, Gideon? As I said, the only one who could adequately lead and be the, what the people need is someone descended from Sun Wukong. I'm not. Again, I'm royal family. I'm not royal blood. And blood, unfortunately, means a lot more in this case. 
which says, well, could we transfuse Eddard's blood into you and yours into his? I was thinking that. that but then that would mean lot. I would not have any blood left. It's not how that works, Twitch, not and how. you know that. And I appreciate the comic relief at the moment. But, but <laughs> the end of the day, it comes down to dynasty and lineage. And while the people might desire or you think you might want to use a democracy or a republic or whatever the hell you think that humans these days might be enjoying, you need a figurehead first, a rallying cry. A person to make the hard decisions as you fight an illithid invasion. Eddard, can you fight an illithid? I have. I've can you lead some. other people in fighting illithid? I've led you guys. <laughs> then there you are. You're a leader of men. And women. Don't count yourself out. I was using... Well, <laughs> technically I'm the medic, so you don't lead me anywhere. Um... <laughs> But yes, that works. That's all you need. The rest is just polish. And recognizing at the end of the day, what is that famous quote from one of those humans? Or, I don't remember. An individual is smart. People are stupid. They're sheep that are led. You put the right shepherd in front of them, they'll go the right way. Now, Eddard it... wants to leave the throne at the end of it, that's his <coughs> choice. But we need to make it look good to get what we need. And Push that would time. include me being pawned off to someone else. No, we're just saying that once it's all said and done, there's no point to do it and just be done. You need to have contingencies. That's all. But can we and get you to seem the... To... Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. You, you seem to like... Whitney is your name? Again. Yes. You seem to like this one. If... I'm not forcing anything upon your hand. We talked about the performance, it looking good. As long as they look like your consort, someone that could help continue your bloodline, it makes it all better. Particularly if you happen to die valiantly in battle defending Lakshay, there's somebody that the people could turn to in their moment of grief and the hope that the line would continue and they won't have to put up with usurpers again. Oh. Oh, I get it, Eddard. Yeah, I could be a contingency then. Wow. Con I'm, consort I'm sorry, that... sounds better, but... You know, consort you know. definitely sounds better, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. Or queen. Queen sounds nice. Well, I mean, I'll say queen the moment Eddard puts a ring on this finger, but... Okay, then... That's yes, neither but... here nor there. And you're going to be waiting for a long time, unfortunately. <laughs> All right, we can stop talking about this right now. For now, we need to figure out what's happened in this very second. First, I don't think we yeah. need to go to Lakshay. We need to just somewhere. What, can I ask, how about this? What was happening before you met me? <laughs> After you got this magical thing that well, I don't still don't care for, what was your plan after that? The plan was to do the PR campaign. That's what the captain and going to be training Eddard for. And that's what Doxy's going to use the holodeck for. And I'm going to go contact someone that might possibly help Eddard in the learning to talk like a prince role. Then I will start contacting the resistance. I'll start with the ones on Sophus Prime. At least, hopefully someone's listening. <sighs> Use Doxy for communications. He, no one can get around him. Good to know. The signal, signal can't be stopped. And he's very good at making sure it doesn't get hacked either. <laughs> I mean, not as good since I caught on your trail, but I'm also better than most. <laughs> so after I all, it wasn't this... my fault. Oh. Yeah, I oh, don't. Wow. So after all this planning. <laughs> Concretely, what is your next step, everyone? Um, I'm sending you a message right now. Cool. Uh, I guess I'm going to start doing training sessions with um, Eddard um, to teach him uh, royal decorum. And I'm going to cast Faya's Industrious Worker on the both of us uh, as we get through this training oh, uh, montage. 
Are you casting industrious work on Doxy again now? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> cool. For no that reason, I... for no yeah. apparent reason, he just comes in the engineer bay, casts <laughs> in, and leaves. Like, I know you're working on a project. <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps um, if we don't want to go straight to Lache, we can go to Solvis Prime. That's where the resistance is, like the headquarters, if you need yeah. a starting spot. Yeah, <clears throat> yes, um, that's what and, we should do. And Doxy will put us in ghost mode. So uh, like, basically it's ghost protocol where the ship essentially uh, is all, all signals out, uh, that are outbound um, have been uh, proxied and um, essentially won't lead back to the, the... They bounce off too many nodes to yeah, lead yeah. back to the ship. Okay. Yeah. Um, so while the ship will be jumping to Solvus Prime, we are going to take a break. And we'll be right back. See you in a few minutes, everyone.
And we're back. So. I will post it on my Twitter. Fantastic. Um, <coughs> sorry about that. Good job. The coordinates are put in for Solvus Prime. And the Scarlet Trust will probably jump by itself if we have a pilot that can make the jumping check. Otherwise, you'll have to get to a moss station, which will take I, just a little while longer. I can jump to give it a go. Yeah, but say, um, I also have proficiency in piloting, so I could also... I mean, if we can shove a roach down Eddard's throat since he's the only one that can't get addicted to these things... That's me. Then yeah, yeah, him. I can definitely get addicted. Doxy is the only one who can't get addicted. <laughs> oh, did I say Eddard? Sorry. He doesn't need to be addicted. Eddie is the player. Crazy. It's not confusing at all that we have a character named Eddard and a player named Eddie. <laughs> so, yeah, so it, like Doxy doesn't get addicted to those things. That's what I meant. Uh, and and like as soon as you mentioned that, uh, Doxy's like having this reminiscence of of uh, the time that he was tripping balls and like a black hole formed in front of him. <laughs> and, like he saw like eyes and and things in the void as he jumped through space. Oh gosh! Oh, you had a grand time, huh? I mean, if you want to make a blind jump, I'll just ask anyone to roll a d100. No, we have people who can pilot. Why would we do this? No, no, no. Uh, it's the person that pilots. Uh, because you neither have star charts, nor a moss station, nor roaches uh, on hand right now. Uh, what, the, what the hell is a roach? It's hey, Edder, wait, an I evil co charts. purple cockroach. Huh? Yep. Uh, hey, Edder, charts? what's your intelligence modifier? Who? Do you have a star chart? I did. Because uh, I'm part of this, uh, the, the uh, what should we call it? Astrogation uh, Society. Astrogation. Yeah, you do have a star chart. Yeah. Yeah, you got a star chart the last time you contacted them. Oh, so what Simon, was... do me a favor because I don't know how to do it. Add piloting to my skills. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I don't know this shit. I, I am proficient. That's all that matters. So do what you need to do. I don't know what it goes under. <laughs> I created a tool and called it piloting. Yeah, yeah. that's what. Uh... I'm not proficient in roll twenty. So again. <laughs> All right, no worries. Um, so Simon, do you want me to roll a D one hundred, and then uh, what bonuses do you want me to add? Because of my, I have star. Let me let me toss that up there so you can see. <clears throat> yeah, if you're not a pilot, I would say that. I mean, if if someone can look no, at the star. Oh, never mind. You literally are a star guide. Yeah, I'm I'm a pilot and a star. Nice. Nice. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, um, it, was one of the, it was one of the faction feats that I got from uh, Astrogation Incorporated. Unfortunately, um, star charts are only good when you're like within a 10 minute jump of the place. So you'd still need to be able to jump somewhere closer to Solvis Prime, which would mean doing a blind jump first. So you'll have to roll a D100 fine, plus 5. So, Question. because it's a plus Question. five, there cannot be a disaster. I'm dead. Yes. I was say, question, because I would assume that I probably either came from Solvus Prime or somewhere else. Would I, on my ship, have the ability to figure out how to get back? I feel um, like that's a place that I should know how to get Oh, you have, you have the coordinates. The thing is, going through the void to get to those coordinates, something yeah. can happen. Understood. Okay. Like, I'm just trying to assist. I'm like, what can I help? <laughs> Let me help. <laughs> oh, Alex, she's helping. What is Eddard's int mod? Zero? Yep. Okay. Oh my so, god, how did you roll a 10? <laughs> all right, so it's going to take 10 weeks to train you in a skill. Yes. So, <laughs> with Sophia's industries worker reducing that by, or like speeding you up by four times, so that'll be like. Two and a half weeks? Cool. <laughs> oh my god. I know. I'm not a machine, man. Can you roll... You are now. <laughs> uh, Doxy, can you roll another D100? Oh god, we failed. We failed. We failed. Fun. <laughs> We're gonna go into a sun. We're gonna meet the sun god again. Oh, wait, any, no, uh, any bonuses to that? No, no, no. You are currently... You've progressed a third of the way. So you jumped in and out. 
but you're still in the middle of nowhere. You would have We're to try jumping. again. Are yeah. we currently in the void? No, you're just in deep space. We we did the void <clears throat> jump. Yeah. But we didn't get as close as we wanted. So yeah. Oh. I imagine we're, we're, I imagine we're kind of next to a nebula uh, nebula uh, a, a nebula and like there's some sort of interference and I was like ah, ah it's a well, void dragon. Yeah, yeah. Oh, void dragon is Another very one here. passes by. Uh, like, oh! Friend. <laughs> no. So you would have, not friend. <laughs> Dux, Dux, you would have me. to make another jump check. Yes. Void dragons are friends. <laughs> Uh, that's oh, that's way better. Perfect jump. Uh, not only do you jump to Solvus Prime, but you jump within orbit of the planet. Ah, it just—it just took me a little moment to calibrate. It's fine. Wow, can mm -hmm. you also parallel park while you're at it? Uh, I've—it's already been done. Uh, like uh, I'm gonna head to the communications thing uh just because i figure again they talked not talk they and doxy um he, doxy probably showed where the stuff was anywho um and they contact saskia they uh you contact them through the um private like secure channel that you use uh with the resistance and yeah. um and doxy has ghosted the signal as well and uh, she gives you the codes to land on the planet. Uh, Solvus Prime is a... <coughs> it's a temperate, like, Earth-like planet. But the Resistance headquarters are located on the southern hemisphere in, like, a trop tropical jungle-like area. Are um, we on the planet moon of Endor? No, I said tropical. Tropical planet moon of Endor? No. There's none of that. Are we on that road? Alex, you road played road. Star Wars. There were Ewoks. You got your your share of Ewoks. That's enough. They were awesome. <laughs> they were cannibal <laughs> Ewoks. They were our friends. What was that planet that the Rogue One um, oh, the, scene happened? The tropical one at the end? Yeah, yes. That's uh, pretty. That's what I'm imagining right now. Wow, I forgot. No, this is actually a... Um, Attitude. Can someone roll me a d12, please? I want to do it. Do it. I'm doing it. Go for it, buddy. Ten. Woo! Hopefully high is good. It better be. Yes, you know that Solvus Prime is under the protection of a um, zealous conclave of space rangers. And Ooh, the yeah. entire planet is basically a, what would be the equivalent of a national park for oh, us. Yeah. But in this yes. case, it's an entire planet dedicated to like a sanctuary for animals and everything. And the resistance yeah. through your contacts and copious amount of credits were able to have like a small section of the planet, basically like an island You mean for them. a sanctuary planet? <laughs> A sanctuary on a sanctuary planet. It's right. sanctuary reception. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> sanctuary reception? Yes, you land on that island. Um, and uh, I was going to say park the ship. You <laughs> land the ship uh, on the small like docks that they have. It's not a full-fledged spaceport, but it's close to that. Sorry, I. <laughs> <laughs> Something of the like. Uh, as you land, a crew of engineers come to inspect the ship, uh, refuel it if need be, and uh, Saskia and six of her bodyguards walk up to the ship and wait for you to disembark. Uh, Gideon's gonna look back. <laughs> uh, Gideon's gonna look back at the group. Uh. Don't worry. As long as I talk to him, they'll know that we're fine. Uh, and he will make sure he gets all his clothes on and all the you know all the stuff that he needs. Um, and we're head, fine. <laughs> exactly. And heads out to meet um, when he uh, when the door opens. You know, and he walks out. He's hey. <laughs> Saskia is this uh, tall woman. For those that haven't seen the picture, uh, wearing uh, knee high 
sort of leather boots made from the hide of a uh, an animal native to this native to this planet. Uh, she has black pants and a. Uh, you don't see her shirt as it is hidden under an armor, like a, a light, like Kevlar jack type thing. I don't remember. What's the equivalent of a studded leather again in a... Um... Uh, it's like mesh, uh, something mesh. Um, uh, titanium mesh. We'll just... Yeah, sure. It's a titanium mesh thing or, or nanofiber. No. Tactical nanofiber. nanofiber vest, yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, that is also stylized to look like a long coat. Uh, she has yes. her head hidden in a hood. Uh, the hood itself is lighted across the front uh, with uh, light blue LEDs that illuminate her pale white face and her gray hair. And she is waiting for you, arms crossed, tapping her foot as you exit the ship. Hey, uh, you now. got some explaining to do. Uh, <clears throat> um, he... Hi! <laughs> <laughs> he, he starts to talk and get the group his bum rushes. Taxi's <laughs> <laughs> our diplomat. <laughs> um, Gideon walks closer, um, extends his hand to take hers, theirs, um, and like kisses it. Um, I brought you a gift. As he turns around um, to show Eddie. <laughs> Is that your girlfriend? That's a story, but no. Who is this prying person? This I see is... a gift. He's not really my type, a bit too young. Saskia. This is Edit. And her face immediately changes. And she says, oh, my lord. And she bows. Oh, my. I will never get used to this. Please rise. I. Please rise. <laughs> Please rise. I, I just. No. I don't do this yet. If ever. Yeah, it's a long story. We'll talk. We just needed to make sure that um, we got to a place that was safe. We're going to start enacting the plan um, with yes. the help of this lovely. Um, for lack of a better word, crew. The Scarlet Trust. Sure, that. And she looks at all of you in turn, uh, nods her head at Kebichet, nods her head at uh, Anders, nods her head at Doxy, and then does a double take. I says, I like your coat. Oh, thank you. And then uh, Loxy on like the corner like kind of comes over and it's like, waves. <laughs> <laughs> first twitch we need to get to somewhere safe first of all we can talk about this more when we're not in plain sight um, mm, minor point of order on that Gideon are they safe to be around they are probably the safest in most trustworthy people I know no no I meant the whole thing you know have they been inoculated Ah, uh, you mean the whole disinfectant and all? Oh. No, 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 the straight inoculations. Just a shot. The, you mean the vaccines? Yes. Yes. Yes, we received them. Nanite vaccines, I believe. Very uh, good. We haven't had any encounters with the Mind Flayers. Not here anyway, but it's always better to be safe rather than sorry. Um, as I, as Doxy's like <coughs> kind of scanning everyone that they meet, um, just in case, uh, he's got, uh, cause if you recall, I have like the, the visors allow me to see if people have been infected and things like Thermal that. Thermal sight, yeah. Yeah, my, yeah. So None like, of them are harboring <coughs> viruses. In fact, uh, most of them are in very, very good shape. Uh, and I, I switch over to Aura Sight, which allows me to see magic and, and, and that sort of thing. And I'm like, Kebichet, uh, yeah, I think they, they seem to be fine. Yeah, um, they're all to... magical. Ooh, oh, and well equipped. No, not their equipment, they themselves. Their bodies emit a s really weak magical aura from uh, transmutation. Um, and it seems like they are, uh, 
what would be like the term for that? Like if someone were to magically enhanced, I guess. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and it seems like they've been experimenting with enhancements. Well, I'm quite sure. Mm, what was that, Gideon? No, I'm like, like go for. <laughs> No, 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 no. And I'm quite sure it's fine. Captain, are you ready to disembark? I have um, a phone call-ish thing to make. I'll be with you momentarily. All right, uh, let's let's go. Oh, Captain. She yes. turns to you. So I take it this is your ship? It is. Any combat capabilities on it? Um, Aside from the arcane cannon, that is. Uh, we have an arcane cannon, a heavy cannon, and how many light cannons do we have? I forget, out of character. Two. two and two light cannons. Um, we have improved shielding in the ship, and uh, uh, what, else, what else have we modified? Um, uh, Doxy seven. made, like, drones that can heal the ship. Oh, yeah, and uh, self-repair self drones as well, so uh, quite capable for despite its appearance. Good. We are sorely lacking in fight-capable ships. We are more, um, we're more trained here in ground combat. Uh, do we have any frames? We have a few waiting for us on Lakshay Prime, uh, hidden away. Mm -hmm. Um... um I would love to discuss more about uh, the resources that we have. I am quite skilled with finding things. Oh. Then you might be able to give us a hand as we seem to have been misplacing. And she said that with like a, a, a sharp emphasis on it. Misplacing mm -hmm. some of our resources lately. Who's been robbing you? We don't know. It's all happening on Lakshay Prime. Hmm. Ah, I could potentially redirect that. Mm. And like, Dash is like thinking about it as he's like typing. <laughs> Just always on the, <laughs> always so on the computer. Yeah. So where's your? <laughs> so who's the spy then? I don't know yet. It's none me. The, no, sorry. None of the people here have left the planet. <laughs> Betrayal. Since we've arrived, we have Not a few contacts on Lakshay, but things have been. Problematic. Uh, our contacts over on Prime are not inoculated, and the Mind Flayers have been... Um, well, what's the term I'm looking for? Uh, they've... Um, Compromised. No, um, when you cordon off a, a country... Quarantined. Quarantine. No. Uh, 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 blockaded? A blockaded, yeah. They blockaded the planet. Orcs from one side... Mind flares from the other. Oh, you can see Gideon just immediately just start rubbing his head like I'm doing. So, before we even consider a throne problem, it looks like uh, Illithid, Orc, Mind Flayer, fuck nation of a problem <laughs> is going to have to come first. Captain, I really do think that my expedient answer might be useful, but... What expedient answer? Um, so what is the expedient answer here? Bio warfare. Oh, God. I mean, I let's not get into that, that discussion Which again. I, out of character, do not support. Out of character, do not support. <laughs> Cabbage Shed is an entirely different person. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Big facts. Um, anyway, for us to make the orcs attack the elephants? But like, I don't know. Yes. How yeah. quickly would you want me to do that? That's the strange things. The strange huh? thing. They're acting in concert. Oh, well, there go the orcs. They're infected. Are they... Are they infected, or are they finding use within one another? We don't know yet. We don't have anyone that can go outside of orbit range to investigate. Like um, I said, we are sorely lacking in the ship department. Um, what I, about our, our friends who uh, are more the travelers? Any Any... Any word on uh, any reconnaissance, which uh, I don't want to put us back at square one. We just got him. We've been trying to get 
some third parties on board. But instead of talking about that on the docks, why don't I show you inside? We have amenities for everyone. Yeah, but I need a drink. Uh, drinks we have plenty. And she knows that he doesn't drink much, so if you need a drink, that's bad. It's yeah, <laughs> we know like something bad's been going on. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um and uh so you well do you all make your way inside? I know Kebichet you had a call to make. Um yeah, Gideon's gone. I'll make my way in. Okay. Make my way yeah. down. Oh, are we like at a base of sorts? Yeah, you're secluded? it's a uh, yeah, so the the island is basically think about like this tropical island with a single massive peak in the middle that is probably a dormant volcano. Because volcano lair. Yes, we're making machinations within a volcano. Yes, I am here for this. Can and we have lava falls just like on either side of us as we're like? Are you sure we're the good guys? <laughs> <laughs> sure, you're plotting to overthrow a government. So to be fair, the government overthrew someone else first. Yes, doesn't mean. Like it. But it's a it's like a giant bunker dug inside this mountain. Cool, I'm all for it. Um, okay. and you have, uh, like vehicles that go to and fro, uh, either the spaceport, well, the spaceport, the docks, or, uh, some of the watchtowers outside. Uh, there's a communication array a little ways higher up the mountain. You see the enormous satellite dishes, uh, broadcasting or more likely listening in on, on, um, communications from Lakshay. Um. So, I have I have some thoughts. Yes. Um, okay, uh, I'm gonna look to uh, Sax. Uh, how do you pronounce your name? Saskia, or their name? Saskia. Um, Sa yeah. Um. <clears throat> yeah, she would have introduced herself. Oh, fair. Okay. Um. Yeah. So, uh, Saskia. Um. One of the things, as as we've been heading this way. Uh, that, that I've been considering is um, how to redirect resources towards our our efforts. Um, what can you tell me of this blockade and the resources that you have on the ground that you've been uh, redirected from? Oh, um, you would have to talk to our tech specialists. Uh, we've... Oh! Yes. Yes, please. They were, uh, ever since that they have arrived, they've been instrumental in helping us. <clears throat> um, and their knowledge of also mind flayers was quite useful to get through some of the uh, more dangerous sections of space. Oh, I would, yes, of course, I would love to meet these people. Um, uh, their workshop <laughs> is in the communications array. Uh, if you want, I can call a car for you. Um, a land and, speeder. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, just out of curiosity, like how far is this thing away from the, uh, from from the main entrance? Yeah, like by car, about ten minutes. Oh, okay, so it's kind of fun. Okay, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's like it's that, like I was uh, thinking I would like like blink button to it or something like that. Oh, it's like six miles away. Okay, that's kind of fun. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's a long blink. Yeah, right. Uh, Fifteen feet at a time. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. Every every six seconds. Um, uh, yes, please. I, uh, that would be that would be great. Um, I I will help manage the communications and and uh, resource acquisition as it were. Um, you all discuss. Eddard, and what he's going to do. All right, then we will see you whenever you come back. Is this your uh, moment out of game that you have to leave to? Uh, it's close. So that's why I was kind of like giving myself an exit where we can mon I can montage like oh doo -doo -doo, machinations hacking the planet, hacking the universe. Then, oh, then if you want to go. Um, it would be like the good, the right moment, and we'd begin with you next week, with like your scene inside the communications area, if you want to. All right, sounds good. That would be uh, cool. 
and I'll be able to introduce you to the tech experts that they have on hand. Sounds good. Cool. All right, y'all. Well, thanks for coming. Have a nice flight. And uh, yeah. everyone in chat, say bye to Doxy. Be safe. <laughs> All right. You all have a good one. You too. <gasps> no, I didn't get it in time. Oh, well. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the camera's messed up for half a second. But uh, the He's rest of you... unprofessional. Yes. Unacceptable. The rest of you make their way to the um, the bunker, I suppose? Well, I kind of want to check on Twitch. He did say something very alarming. I want to see how he's doing now. Actually, as you approach him inside the ship, can I also come with? Yeah, you're part of the retinue. Okay, I'm good. I'm not sure if I really would call it retinue. It's more like I don't feel like I place myself above everybody else. But I oh, but you are same. by virtue of your blue blood and all that shit. <laughs> yeah, I don't like it at all. I know you don't, but I'll keep I... pestering you about it. Um, My blood is blue. I found the pistols. I'm ready to go. Oh, where were they? In my trunk. Mm, I have a trunk. I know. I'm not used to having a physical body still. It's only been three seasons. <laughs> All right, well, let's see if we can find Whitney and let's get going. All right. You would find Whitney in her quarters. She's reading, poring over her spell books. How do I get out of this? Anything you need me for? Yeah, do you want to join us inside the bunker of the Resistance? Oh. I like staying on the ship, but I do need to stretch my legs a bit. It's... There's a beach outside, right? It's, it's, a... it's a tropical island, but... I'm, yeah. I don't want to spend time on the beach. We have work to do. Hopefully, work won't take too long, and we can enjoy the beach for a little bit. <coughs> sure, I'd love to be able to enjoy the beach for a bit. Let's see if we can make short work of whatever is happening on the inside. Yes, plotting first, always. I'm never good at plotting. No, you're a man of action. Very true. You don't need to talk or think, for that matter. At art, you're someone who does things or who gets shit done. You're quite right. They can get things done. Let's uh, let's disembark and join the others. Everybody decide what's gonna happen with everybody's life. Yeah. And we make our way to the base. Good. For what it's worth, uh, my ring size is insert appropriate ring size. Six and a half. Six and a half. I mean, I think. You know what? I, if I were to propose. Now would be the worst time in the world because it would be forced, not spontaneous or the right moment. Wait, are yeah, you I saying that out loud? Yes. Okay, keep going. I mean, I do have a ring that magically would resize to whatever size. Do you want to propose to your new girlfriend like right now using a magic ring? <laughs> not at all. I'm not stupid that way. Thus, you make your way to the bunker with Whitney and uh, Twitch and Toe. Yeah, I really should stop talking sometimes. <clears throat> I know, that's okay. Um, it is entertaining. 
We'll cut to the their actual war room, which has a table and a holographic display in hard light. Um, yeah, but where's the microwave? I would like to be able to enjoy a burrito. They have about war. a monitor that monitors all the news feed coming out of Lakshay. And it doesn't take long for all of you to realize that the news coming out of Lakshay is very quiet. Mm -hmm. Gideon, you're sort of used to this, but this now is even more suspicious than usual, knowing that the planet is under blockade by the Mind Flayers. Definitely, those in power do not wish to alarm the population. However, from time to time, the broadcasts do glitch and you catch just a glimpse of an armada of spaceships amassed outside, uh, just out of orbit of Lakshay. As if is someone it, was screwing the signal. Is it possible that even the mind flares in this case might be blocking the signals to make us think that nothing's happening over there? Or would it just work against them to do something like that? Sorry, what? My question is to all y'all, is it possible that the mind flares are actually blocking the signal coming out of Lakshay to prevent anybody else to know exactly what's going on? It's not just the government that's hiding things. It's also the assailants that are hiding what exactly is happening. I won't lie to you, and I am not one of faith, and I'm not one of even science. But I wouldn't doubt that the mind flares are somewhat connected to the person on that throne right now. So yes, there's a high chance that they are directly involved with all that's going on. There is, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if Lakshay is a hub, for lack of a better word. Are, are you saying that whoever is, on, is sitting on that throne right now has a, some ties with the Mind Flayers? I don't know, but I wouldn't doubt it. If they're saying that the Orcs and the, and the, and the Mind Flayers are working in hand on Lakshay Prime, like, why not anywhere else? Why there? It sounds like that place is a ground for something. I, I don't know. Uh, this is all guesswork, but and I've avoided uh, it for a while. Saskia says, at this point, this is almost everything we can hope for is guesswork. But with what's been happening, we don't know what's reliable or what's not coming out of Lakshay. Uh... There's no way we can attempt to get there without causing some problems or being caught or being seen. We're messing with something much more than just a usurper. We're messing with psionic things I barely touch. Do we want to know if they are actually? Can we know from over here? Or do we need to be closer? <laughs> no, I don't need to be any closer. What do you have in mind? Saskia asks. My thoughts exactly. I ask a higher authority. You mean, as he points to his eyes. And she just kind of holds her hand and lets it start to glow and let the void envelop it. I mean, it doesn't hurt to try. Magic can definitely help. We have a few spellcasters here, but none that seem to reach yours or Gideon's level. Though I don't know just how willing Gideon is to use all of his powers, it seems that restraint is his motto. You know me. I will say I'm the best at many things. When it comes to the void, I might have been best at I've oh. only touched it. They are actually uh, a, a conduit or a, 
a, a messenger, a, a priestess. I don't know exactly what you prefer. Would you like the formal introductions? I'm sorry, we haven't been formally introduced, have we? Here we go. <laughs> he gets like looks bad. <laughs> she says, "Right, we haven't. Not <laughs> used to getting uh, guests here, as you can see." I'm Saskia, by the way, um, second in command of the Sons of Wukong. We the share the title, you're not second. So when is your wedding? Oh, it's never going to happen. No, uh, I, I don't like, no, I'm good. I have enough on my hand, I don't need another one. I really hope you weren't talking about me there. For no. once, we're actually not talking about you, Edit. <laughs> No. Please continue that. No, you see, uh, your highness, your wedding is not the only thing that Gideon has planned. He planned many a great weddings before, and, well, maybe one was for his own person, but that was a long, long time ago, and I will never know exactly what his thoughts on the issue were. And thankfully, we don't have to find out. Now, about contact in the void. Do yes. you think they, it, them, will listen? Will actually have adequate answers? I don't know if... if see, when I experienced the void, it was literally with the face of a, a dragon. But oh, I Would don't you like know. to meet Volans? He's still on the ship. I'm good. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> would you like to experience the void in a slightly more pleasant manner then uh, this is pleasant enough for me as his eyes just shift I'm like we're good fine captain Wait. do i have your permission to ask the void ask the void uh what what do we want to know we want to know if the government of lakshay is possessed in bed with the illithid or possessed or how is that um no uh so yeah i mean i guess um have the have the illithid or has lakshay willingly al uh, aligned themselves with the illithid have the illithid infiltrated lakshay and uh no i guess want to know the about the orcs uh, yeah, I mean, the orcs are always kind of a problem for Lakshay, so I guess, you know, it wouldn't be bad, bad to know what's going on with them. All right, then. Um, mm -hmm. Am I going to bother him if I do this here, or should I do this in a more private place? Uh, you know, I don't have a problem with it, so... Mm. They kind of looks worse. At... <laughs> seeing worse isn't the problem. I don't want to bother anyone if they really have aversions to my spiritual connections. You good? Yep. Okay. And she just kind of sits back in the chair and brings her hands up and you see her eyes slowly start to just fall blacker and you see the feathers on her hair go black and she lets the void envelop her totally. And she casts commune ritually. Hey. It takes a little while and yes. um Gideon's scales are itching. <laughs> it's like yeah, she looks, you just see the whole, the light that was around her being sucked in and then being transformed as it goes around and spins around her. What are your questions, daughter? Hello, it's nice to talk to you again. But I am unfortunately on a little bit of a time clock trying to deal with certain problems um are the is the current government in power and Lakshay willingly allied with the illithid unclear mm. they are not allied but they are indifferent mm. that's good to know um have the oh crap what's the phrasing of the second one um 
have the illicit infiltrated election? yeah have they have they illicit infiltrated the election government or do are they in position of power there to manipulate the election government what do you think i think at this point it's probably easy to assume that those who were willing to experiment on the rothians and were willing to be part of that well a lithid plot earlier were probably still involved with it now but i don't know yes yes they have already infiltrated the government hmm are the orcs working with the lithid or are they serving them are brute tools they do not believe they are serving but they end up doing just the same well that's useful at least it means that when we try and deal with the problem we'll eventually deal with it are you feeling any better passable well, I look forward to speaking to you soon. Wouldn't want to keep the natives too lonely. And she'll slowly let the whole void fall away from her. And the then... She's been shivering the entire time. <laughs> uh, Saskia's been looking with, like, a lot of interest and curiosity at this. It's probably... And you recall, like, Gideon, that... You, you've you've met other spellcasters, and you know Saskia has met other spellcasters, but probably none that could commune with the god directly. Say it one more time. <laughs> um, it is probably the first time that she sees someone like powerful enough to commune uh, directly okay. with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't um, think Gideon sees it often, so he's just. <sighs> Oh boy. <laughs> well then, Captain, do you want the good news or the bad news? Uh, let's start with the the bad news, I guess. Oh, Lakshay has been compromised for much longer than we've than this. Um, remember that whole issue with the Rothian experimentation? Uh, yeah. Mm. Uh, so since then? Before. Oh, uh, well, shit. I assume that Lakshay and the current government are... If not possessed by the Illithid, definitely they're puppets. Good to know. What, the good news? Uh, sure. The orcs are not... The orcs think that this is their bid for freedom and that they are not servants of the Illithid. Um, okay, so the, the good news is that the orcs don't think they're servants of the Illithid. But yep. the way you say that, it sounds like they're doing their dirty work anyways. Okay. So, so it, means been... it means that they're less possessed and more just, you know, manipulated into being blunt instrument that they are. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of oh. like good news in the sense that it's better than the alternative, but it's not really great. Uh, um, okay, so backing up. Uh, so we know that they've infiltrated. We know the orcs are just, you know, being tricked. <clears throat> are the the Lakshain government? Is it safe to say they are not willingly allied with them, but rather simply there's key members that have been, you know, I infected? I don't know that there's that possibility to make that distinction anymore, given how long term the infection has lasted. Uh, so, I mean, like theoretically, if we were to clean up the infection you know just get rid of the people that aren't infected presumably hopefully um the rest of the government and you know rest of the rest of the people in power and the citizenry would be more open to going to war with the illithids if there's not people if there's not illithids uh, manipulating uh those the in public power opinion. exactly oh and look don't we have a brilliant saver descended from his 
Royal Highness Song Wukong himself, here to free the people from the Illithid curse? Uh, yes, of course, we first have to expose the those in power that are controlled by the Illithid. But yes. Mm. We need to find dirt on them, at least proof that they are indeed working with the enemy. So basically, Doxy and Rosemary need to hack the Lakshay archives again. Oh uh, yeah, more or less. Mm. If it's on the archives. Oh, everything's in a, a bureaucratic government like them. Everything's somewhere. It's probably mislabeled. You know, no one really spends $40,000 on a hammer. $30,000 on a toilet seat. So it sounds you know, like... Yet. <laughs> it sounds mm -hmm. like you, you all are on a track that I, I will admit in my years I didn't consider... If we align ourselves with, if we make ourselves to be those who are against the illithids, which most of us are, we are. I'd say all of us are, I'd hope. Yes. <laughs> but we get the kingdom of Lakshay, those who are of Lakshay and blood, those who actually belong there. If we get them to see that we, i.e. you, Eddard, are the savior, no matter if the usurpers are intertwined with the Elithids or not, they will know that you are the one who rid them of the illicit terror and thus perhaps will be on your side to, how you say, kick them off their pedestal. Like I said, you need a very good PR man. That's the captain. I do what I do. Saskia, let others know that this plan is being bumped up sooner than we thought, because we might actually have a shot at this working. I'll get everyone ready. Oh, by the way, do you know a certain number of people in your immediate area? How many, roughly? You mean on this island? Yes, although command staff would be most vital. We're 150. Command staff is restricted to about eight of us. Gideon, myself, our mm. communications experts, and a few of the uh, lieutenants. Give me about 48 hours. I'll have a present for you. Trying to inoculate everybody? Or is it the uh, with the rest? Yes, the present. They've already been inoculated. Well, I mean, strangers show up at my doorstep accompanied by Gideon, and they offer me presents and help and actually kickstart the rebellion. I mean, by all accounts, why couldn't Gideon find you any sooner? Uh, 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 mm, okay, just because talk I've about been me hiding. Like I'm a piece of shit, that's fine. Because we've been doing a swell job at hiding until, well,. And don't get it twisted. I've kept my eyes on you, just not 24-7. Hmm. Uh, Captain, apparently I have some work to do. Is there anything you need from me? Uh, no, I think, uh, think I'm good. If I were to send certain people to your other friend, would that be acceptable? Uh, yeah, well, unfortunately they've gone dark temporarily, so you won't be able to currently. Mm, I don't need to find your friend, as long as your friend still has my friend. Uh, fair enough. Seems uh, like you, you also have a lot of friends. I do. He's a very friendly person. Except when, you know, he blows up entire... ...bureaucracies. It's only done once. <laughs> Uh, I missed that, sorry. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't hear you. Oh, I said he only blew up one democracy, right? Not democracy, bureaucracy. Uh, bureaucracy, thank you. Right? I don't know, Anders, did you, did you blow up more than one? Or just the firm? I'm sorry, what? <laughs> <laughs> did you blow up only the firm? Or is there more that I don't know about it? Uh, no, I just pretty much uh, blew up the firm. 
you know, like, uh, was working with the knights, then Mind Flayers blew them up. Uh, so, yeah. That's, wow. that's where we're at now. Yeah, the knights would have probably been helpful in, uh... Hmm. Would have been nice, yeah. right? Yes. Is there any way for us to contact any kind of remaining knights that could be scattered across the galaxy and tell them to join us here? Yes, there is. Yeah, we can sit and we've got a number of ways to do that. You really think, Your Highness, that the knight, the Sepulcher Knights would actually ally with us to put you on the throne of Lakshay? Mayhaps not, but they would ally with us to kick some squid bases ass. Uh, I, I'm certain I could convince them that it would be worth it. I mean, if we want to, we could see if their general's still around. We could ask him directly. Now, we don't want too many eggs in this proverbial basket, you know, just... No, just but the extra sure. bodies would be useful. And I don't... I mean, I, meaning CB, doesn't know about the knights. But um, uh, we want to make sure cops. that they... Yes, I figured. <laughs> we want to make sure that they aren't... Um, uh, compromised, either. Well, the individual I'm going to contact is pretty much guaranteed not to be compromised because I shot his ass myself. Uh, we've we've vaccinated a few of them. Good to know. All right. I mean, if you think it'll work, we all we can use as much um, non-squid faced, as you say, uh, friends um, as possible if we want this to work. Because again, this won't just be a PR moment. This is going to be a PR with a dash of whoop somebody's ass. You know, it would actually even look better if we ended up with a couple of Knights Sepulchre showing up. You know, the validation of the space law, neutral law enforcement um, validating Edward's claim to the throne. You're not wrong. <laughs> that is so true. In this case, with more eggs in a basket, we make a bigger omelet. Analogy. Have you even had an omelet before? Yes, actually. I, I, mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I love and, breakfast food. And it's on that very insightful wisdom from Eddard that we're going to wrap up today's episode. <laughs> He's going full of my wisdom. It's oh, you're good. <laughs> um, thank you all for coming. Uh, let's go around the table. Tell us who you are, where we can find you on the internet, and then I'll do the whole spiel of everything after let's start with the blue-blooded uh king of lakshay well i should say future maybe king of lakshay alex Hi. terrifying to put my ass on the throne all right you can find me on twitter at the underscore gambit and you can find me next week right here same channel same time for more misadventures of eddard and it I'll rename the show Eddard and his retinue. Mm -mm. Thank you. <laughs> um, speaking of the retinue, Deirdre, how are you? <laughs> uh, I'm fine. Hey, all, you know me, at Deirdre Dalman on Twitter or Praxagora Thesme Afori, as you see me hanging out in the Twitch chat. And I will be back here on Friday. Friday. For some uh, cyberpunk fun. As my wonderfully innocent <laughs> baby child trends has a shit ton of c4 that will be great um and things are entertaining but uh come back oh and then saturday i'm here no, no we're not saturday's here saturday. aliens saturday is aliens i'm not here saturday sorry but other than that check my twitter because i was supposed to where i'm going to be and things are happening things are changing there's a new game coming up you should watch out for that Cool, thanks for coming. Uh, Justin, welcome back. Good to be back. Um, so yeah, I'm Justin. I'm a community manager of Mage Hand Press. I've been gone for a bit because life be crazy. Um, but um, had a fun, had a bit of fun playing. I am a little bit under the weather, so I was a little distracted, but had fun nevertheless. Um, if you want to check out more of our stuff, go to store.magehandpress.com. Uh, otherwise, I'll be playing here um you know every tuesday and then every other saturday i play on hollow tales channel um where we do some undead shenanigans in the savage world system uh mm. and then that's gonna be so this saturday and then every other saturday after that cool 
Mm -hmm. Is it uh, you're all playing undead characters or you're fighting uh, undead? Uh, fighting undead. Okay. So it's, yeah, it's a uh, Wild West, Savage Worlds, and then we're dealing with some sort of Western undead apocalypse, it looks Deadlands? like. Deadlands? Yeah. Oh, it's Deadlands. Awesome. Uh, I, I guess. I mean, I only have the Savage Worlds book, so. Oh, okay. Don't give me lion. Well, if it is Deadlands, it's Deadlands is an awesome setting. Weird West. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely Weird West. Um, I'm, I currently play a um, gunsmith who uses weird science to cast spells through various guns, through things like medically coated bullets and, and things like that. Cool. Also explosion bullets because, you know, explosions. I feel like one of the two is what bullets are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. um, and lastly, uh, Gideon, the advisor, CB, hello. Hey, 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 hey. <clears throat> Critical Bard um, here, Critical Bard across all social media channels. Very excited to be back guesting on this awesome game that I had no idea what it was, and now I'm really falling in love with it. So um, hopefully I come around more often, time permitting, and, you know, as the game naturally allows. Uh, anywho, you can find me many places. Um, like I said, Critical Bard across all social media channels. Blah, blah, blah. Critical Bard across all social media channels. You can go to critbard.com to get some merch. Um, adding some new things today, like a crop top and some sweatpants. Uh, um, you can catch me on <clears throat> on Fridays on Lady Tiefling's Twitch channel as we descend into a furnace. Uh, and Wednesdays on a, um, a channel to be named soon. Um, as I play um, a home um, fun game about, uh, well, not home. It's a game about home and life um, previously on Variant Rose, but we'll be going, um, doing some changes. Uh, other than that, that's it. Uh, again, check out my Twitter. I just released an awesome video uh, today. And yeah, that's it. Cool. And I am Simon at Wondering DM. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thank you to all of you who hung out in chat. Thank you for the subscriptions. Thank you for the follows. Uh, thank you for uh, the uh, donations. Uh, thank you to all of you watching the VOD on YouTube. It's always greatly appreciated to know that we have fans on the other platform. Uh, check out our sponsors below. I didn't introduce them before, but know that Mage and Press, the makers of Dark Matter, uh, are a sponsor of the sponsors of this channel. If you want to get your hand on Dark Matter because you like what you see today, you can head on over to store.mageandpress.com and use code WONDERINGDM to get 15% off whatever it is you purchase. doesn't have to be Dark Matter, but I mean, it's there, and it's a beautiful hardcover book, so might as well while you're there. Uh, check out Found Familiar if you like good coffee, or Dice Envy if you want some dice. Uh, we will see you next week for Dark Matter, otherwise this Friday for Cyberpunk. And uh, Saturday, Ivan Van Norman is coming back to finish the Aliens RPG game that we started last week.